tell the great story of the Royal Canadian Air Force overseas. The Premier has told us that the Dieppe reconnaissance in force was an essential preliminary to attack in the West. And here, pictures just released show some of the complications of the training required, as well as two important weapons used. Obviously, timing for the attack, training of personnel and expert handling of armoured fighting vehicles and landing craft can make or mar the success of a combined operation like Dieppe. The TLCs we've seen before in the actual pictures of that show, though here an even better impression of their size is given. That Churchill tanks went in them, we know, but these are the first moving pictures of them to be shown. The embarkation, the voyage and the landing of these heavily armoured tanks must have rehearsals and dress rehearsals if they are to do the job when the final word is given. There's surely no complacency in pointing to the fact that invasion scares are now more prevalent on the other side of the channel than on this. Britain knows that victory is not yet in sight, but we can justifiably take pride in the design and the building of our new weapons, all thanks to the men who make them and the men who fight in them. The Churchill is extremely powerful in attack as well as defence. Though these are carrying two-pounders, six-pounders may be mounted instead. The Churchill has good speed for its weight, and we shall hear more of it, as they say, in due course. <laughs> 